Now, it's two days till the fight of the century. We have somebody online who can tell us what's happening right now, right there in Las Vegas. We now have Ryan Songalia of the Boxing Writers Association of America, and he's also a staff reporter for Ring Magazine. Ryan, you've been following Pacquiao and Mayweather there in Las Vegas. What's it like there right now? Uh, well, there's definitely a big fight atmosphere here in Las Vegas. There are a lot of uh, nerves on uh, both sides. Uh, Pacquiao isn't showing it as much. He's been telling his supporters to relax. I'm the one who has to fight. But I've seen in Floyd Mayweather Jr. that he's a bit ornery. Uh, he's usually much more uh, calm and outgoing. Uh, we've seen a, a bit of a change in his demeanor in that he hasn't been uh, talking trash to uh, Manny Pacquiao as he had to so many boxers in the past. So um, it's definitely something Okay, so uh, interesting to watch for and how it translates to Saturday night. Ryan, when we started watching uh, everything about Mayweather and Pacquiao and building up to this fight, everyone was saying Pacquiao was the underdog. Is he still the underdog now in Vegas or are Americans kind of like uh, rooting for Pacquiao now? Well, as far as the Vegas uh, sportsbook odds, uh, Manny Pacquiao is still a plus 170 underdog, which means that you bet $100 and you win $170, uh, whereas Mayweather is a minus 200 favorite, meaning that you bet $200 to win $100. So at least in the, with the gamblers, he is still a uh, significant underdog. But um, I expect the line to change once the uh, the big bettors uh, arrive in Las Vegas. Um, the odds are saying 2-1 to one, uh, for Floyd Mayweather Jr., but from everyone I've spoken with, it may, it may as well be a million to one because there are very few people who are take, going out on the limb and uh, picking uh, Manny Pacquiao to win. So, Ryan, what's in store for them today? What will, the, what will they be doing today? Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and uh, Manny Pacquiao, they are... Uh, the training camp is done. Whatever work that they were going to put in for this fight, it's already done. Right now, they're both relaxing. Manny Pacquiao... Okay, so, Ryan... Okay, Ryan was talking about their, right now, they're both relaxing, so let's try to see if we can still have Ryan. So, Ryan, yeah, you were yes. talking about they're both relaxing now because we heard that there will be a weigh-in tomorrow. So, what usually happens before the fight? Well, the weigh-in is the last time that the people will see the fighters uh, together before fight night. They will both step on the scale. Um, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. have to make 147 pounds. Uh, they will both be at least uh, underneath or close to 147. Neither guy has issues with making weight. Uh, the weigh-in is basically just something, and this kind of a circumstance, it's a formality. Ryan, if I'm not mistaken, normally the weigh-ins are free for people to watch, but I think this time around they had to pay $10 to watch it. Yes, uh, if you if you weren't convinced that this is a capitalist event, uh, this is uh, unprecedented in boxing. Uh, they've said that they are going to donate their proceeds to uh, charity. Uh, one group, uh, Mayweather, is sending it to his own, own personal charity, uh, preference, and uh, Pacquiao is sending to a charity of his preference. But um, I think that they were concerned about. Uh, uh, just people camping out and just having a, a large audience there outside fighting to get inside. Uh, security is always an issue when you have a sporting event of this uh, magnitude. So I think that there was there were some precautionary issues, but also uh, another ex uh, excuse to uh, cash some checks. <laughs> That's right. Okay, <laughs> last question, Ryan. What's your fearless forecast? Who's it going to be, Pacquiao or Mayweather? Uh -huh. See, it's so hard to make a forecast in a fight like this where there are so many variables. Um, now, someone has asked me if I was a betting man, who would I put money money on? And I would say, well, the underdog, you know, because you'll make more money. But um, I see that Pacquiao has the speed, he has the power, he throws more punches than Floyd Mayweather Jr. Mayweather Jr. may be the wrong style also for Pacquiao because he's a counterpuncher. We've seen Pacquiao knocked out by counterpunchers when he's jumped in. I, I, it's hard to say, but uh, I can see situations where both guys win. I'm not counting out either man, and uh, I'm just hoping that uh, we get a fair decision if it goes to the cards from the law. Okay, well, we, Las Vegas officials. We hope that Ryan has our flag ready, and Ryan, represent <laughs> and have fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ryan. Okay, uh, that was Ryan Songalia of the Boxing Writers Association of America.